The Höpfner family's hunt for the perfect Christmas tree has brought them to a local farm near Münster in western Germany. They're having problems finding the right size. The couple and their three children want the tree to be just perfect. Michael Höpfner suggests taking a tree that's already decorated. But the children aren't convinced. Eventually, they do find exactly what they're looking for. But first, the tree has to be felled. It's a nice shape and has branches all the way to the top, which the children can help decorate. It should look great in its corner, but if it's too tall, we'll put it somewhere else. Michael Höpfner gets to work with his saw. The Höpfners come here every year just before Christmas to choose their tree. It's a family tradition. Everyone helps bring it back to the house. The Christmas tree tradition has no clear origin, but it can be linked to the customs of various cultures. In Christianity, the tree of paradise was put up in churches during the Middle Ages. On December 24th, biblical stories were reenacted under the tree. The tree of paradise was decorated with apples to symbolize the fall of man. But it also came to symbolize the redemption of mankind through the birth of Christ. And in the 16th century, a green Christmas tree became a part of Christmas celebrations among tradesmen's guilds and the nobility. In the 17th and 18th century, it was common for nobility to decorate pine trees. But the practice only became more widespread in the 19th century, when the invention of cheaper candles made it more affordable to decorate a tree. By the beginning of the 20th century, Christmas without a tree was unthinkable in many countries. Two symbols come together nicely in the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree bears the everlasting green, symbolizing life. The decorative lights are a symbol of the Christian religious belief in the light that came into the world with the birth of Jesus Christ. The Höpfners are already getting to work on the decorations, many of them handmade. The young parents enjoy Christmas. It's nice to see how the tree evolves and how the children are having so much fun, as you can see. For the parents, it brings back memories of their own childhoods. I have four siblings, and we were only allowed to decorate the parts we could reach at the bottom of the tree. The next morning, everything had been rearranged, because my mother was very particular. The children have decorated our tree this year very evenly, so I probably won't have to change too much. One of the children has found an empty spot that still needs to be decorated. But the top of the tree proves to be out of reach. With a bit of help, the youngest girl puts the final touch on the tree. Now everything's ready for Christmas.